Before beginning this tutorial, be sure your wireless LAN card is set up for your wireless network. Insert the card into your embroidery machine and turn on the machine. For instructions on how to set up your wireless card, watch the video on sending designs to the machine wirelessly. Place your image into the Scanning Cut photo scanning mat. Place the mat on the Scanning Cut and then press the Load button. Press Scan and then Scan to Cut Data. Press the Start button. When the image appears on screen, choose the appropriate detection option for your project and pull the arrows in from the corners to crop the image. Press Save and then Save to Machine. Make note of the file number and press OK. Press the Home button. Press OK to delete all patterns. Press the Load button to unload the mat. Place your fabric onto your cut mat and then press the Load button. Press Pattern, press Saved Data, and then press Machine. Locate your scanned pattern, select it, and press OK. Press the Layout button, press the Select button, press Select All, and then press OK. Press the Unify button, and then press OK. Press the Save button, choose Scan and Cut Canvas, and press OK. This will save the design to our Scan and Cut Canvas so we can use it with our software. Press OK. Press the Background Scan button, and then press the Start button. This will allow you to see where your fabric is placed on the mat. Move the pattern to where you'd like it placed on your fabric, and then press OK. Press Cut, and then press Start. Your fabric will cut. When the fabric is finished cutting, press OK. Gently peel away the excess fabric from the mat, leaving your applique piece in place. Then, using your spatula, lift up your applique piece. Place the applique piece aside to use later. Now let's go to our Scan and Cut Canvas. Log into your Scan and Cut Canvas and click on the My Projects tab. Locate the anchor design and click on the Download button. Choose Download to PC. Choose a location to save the file in, type in a name for the file, and then press Save. Press Close, and then go to your BES Embroidery Lettering software. From the Paste Setter pull-down menu, choose Import FCM. Choose the Anchor file, and then select Open. Click on the Tools tab, and then click Convert to Applique. Your applique file has been created. From the Paste Setter pull-down menu, choose Machine, and then Send to Machine. Name the file, and press Send. Press OK. Now let's go to the embroidery machine. At the embroidery machine, hoop your project and insert the hoop into the machine. Press Embroidery. Press from the SD card and then press B Pocket. Select the anchor design and then press Set. Press Embroidery. Lower the presser foot. Press the Start button. The placement stitch for the anchor applique will stitch. Place the applique piece on top of the placement stitch and smooth into place. You may wish to remove the hoop from the embroidery machine and press the piece into place. Continue with the embroidery until the anchor is complete. 